Hi and welcome back to our online learning. This is Mom Grace, your food processing teacher. It is fishing season again. February to October is declared as the fishing season in the Philippines. So what do we do when we have an abundant supply of fish? Cook, sell, but what if there are still more? Can we still eat fish even if it is not in season? The answer is yes, we can. But how? Can you identify the following processed fish? This is a dried fish, bottled fish, smoked fish, and a frozen fish. Are all these familiar to you? If not all, then lend your ears as we will discuss all of this today. Before diving into our lesson, here are our objectives for today's discussion. Understand what is fish processing, identify different fish processing techniques, and learn one fish processing technique, which is bottling or canning. Now let us review what is fish processing first. Fish processing refers to the processes associated with fish and fish products between the time fish are caught or harvested and the time the final product is delivered to the customer. There are four basic procedures used in final processing of fish, namely smoking, heating, freezing, and controlling water activity. So let us discuss all of these four basic procedures. First is smoking. Smoking is a process of heat and chemical treatment of food by exposing it to smoke from burning materials such as wood and aromatic leaves. Second is heating. The food is then heated to a high temperature. The process is called pasteurization. Next is freezing. Food here Food temperatures here are reduced to a below 0 degree Celsius to decrease the activity of harmful bacteria. And lastly, sun drying. This is the most popular way of processing small fish. To dry the fish, you have to put the fish in rocks and turn the fish once or twice a day to dry evenly. All of these procedures increases the shelf life of the fish by inhibiting the mechanisms that promote spoilage and degradation. Now let us dig, dig in and learn further in our main topic today, which is canning or bottling, one of the fish processing for basic procedure. So what is canning or bottling? Canning is the process of applying heat to food that is sealed in a container in order to destroy any microorganisms that can cause food spoilage. Heating is the principal factor to destroy the microorganisms and permanent sealing is to prevent a reinfection in a canning process. There are nine steps of fish canning. Let us enumerate each one of the steps. First is the selection of raw materials. Mature pre-spawning fish and medium fatty fish are better for canning. Sardines, helsa, salmon, Hearing or even milkfish are examples of these fishes. Next is the treatment before canning. Nobbing is the process of removing head and gut for large fishes. Washing is the process of removing blood and other dirt left after nobbing. Brining is the then the fish are immersed in a concentrated solution of common salt for predetermined length of time. Salt is observed to the flesh and imparts a desired flavor. Next is the packing or filling in the can. The above treated fish are then filled in the can either manually or mechanically, usually a small top space and generally filled with inert gas. Next is exhausting. This is done by the application of heat. By this, the gas inside the in space and between two fishes, these fish pieces will be removed and a partial vacuum will be formed. Next is the closing in, closing the can. All fish cans prepared are closed by the double seaming method and the operation is usually called seaming. Next is washing. 
Washing of can is done by the hot water spray to remove adhering materials. Heat processing. This is the most crucial step during canning. It is done for a predetermined time at the respected temperature. And cooling. This is done as quickly as possible after heating process. Otherwise, all flavor may produce because considerable changes may take place. And lastly, labeling and boxing. Ingenious machines are available for labeling. Dingle cans are capable of fixing the lid label, placing a canvas, and wrapping the hole in a greaseproof wrapper. All of these are the steps in canning process. To give you a in better insight, here is a much simpler video of canning or bottling which you can easily follow at home. There are different ways in how to preserve fish. Be it smoked, dried, frozen and canned, or bottled. Here are a few reminders. Keep fingernails short and clean. Wash hands thoroughly. Change disposable gloves regularly. Avoid coughing and sneezing. Observe proper attire. Hair net, face mask, gloves, and safety shoes. Follow proper manufacturing procedures. Safety procedures. Step-by-step -step process. And quality control protocol. Now, you will need bones, laurel or bay leaf, peppercorn, red pepper or seeding the wheel, whole carrot sliced thinly, whole pickle sliced thinly, preheated corn oil, preheated vegetable oil. Brine solution. Water retort or pressure cooker. And clean new bottles. Now, prepare first the brine solution by dissolving one part salt in four parts water, then strain. Remove or cut the head, tails, and fins thoroughly and the remaining internal organs. Soak the fish in the brine solution for 30 minutes, then drain. Dry the fish under the sun for one and a half to two hours or for one hour in a cabinet dryer. Flash fry the fish in preheated vegetable oil for 30 seconds to one minute. Drain, then allow to cool at room temperature. Trim and arrange the fish to fit three pieces of fish in the bottle container. Once done, use a knife or the end of a spatula to insert 3 to 4 pieces of bay leaf or laurel, 6 pieces of peppercorn, 2 to 3 pieces of red pepper or seeding the bouillon, 2 to 3 slices of carrot, and 2 to 3 slices of pickle inside the bottle. Then fill the bottles with preheated corn oil, leaving 1 fourth inch head space from the lid and tightly seal. Put them inside the pressure cooker and set the pressure meter at 15 PSI and cook for 2 hours. After cooking, turn off and let the pressure cooker's pressure meter lower down to zero before opening. Take out the bottles and allow it to cool at room temperature for about 30 minutes. Wash the bottles thoroughly to remove adhering oil and then wipe dry. Coat, label, and store. Storage reminders. Store at room temperature of 28 to 30 degrees Celsius in a cool and dry place. Shelf life is one year. Now, to evaluate what you have learned, 
please follow the link provided for your activity. Identify the following important procedures used in canning shown in the flashcards you will find in the link given. As I have gathered your scores, re results show that there is a high percentage of you who have passed the test. You've done a good job. Keep it up, keep it up next time. For those who have low scores, please do well next time. And for your scores, the following are the result. For those who have gotten 10 out of 10, these are Claro, Ramirez, Bunak, Tabamo, Susmenya, and Maizo. For those who have gotten 8 out of 10, Mahusay, Kaituna, and Masin. And for 5 out of 10, is Alimanyo. Good job, class. To practice what you have learned as an assignment, please make your own homemade bottled fish using the fish sardines that is also very abundant this month. Film yourself doing the process and submit the video to the address provided. That is all for today. Until our next lesson, God bless.